hi everyone in the previous videos we have covered the two types of function that is without argument and without return and without argument and with return in the without return thing we have stated that the function return type should be void because we do not want to return anything and void does not return anything and in the with return video we have learned that the type of the return type we want to return from the function that should be the type of the function if you want to return the integer from the function the return type of the function should be int if we want to return the character from the function the return type should be character and uh, so on so this video is all about the with argument and without return thing there are also three thing declaration return type function name so this is without return so the return type should be void arguments because it is the with argument definition it, it is void because it is without return function name should be match void void the number of arguments and the type of argument should be match at this point of time you just need to learn this thing that the argument we pass in the function can be integer float double or character thing and in the calling function name argument the ar type of the argument and the number of argument should match in both of these integer 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 or character 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 or so on you can do any combination in this so now we'll move to code this is our with argument and without return file so we'll declare a function over here void because it is without return and uh, we'll name it abc and pass the integer type in a function we just need to define the type over here do not declare any variable over here just need the type the data type over here of which we want to pass in the function now we'll write the definition of the function void abc we now we need to declare a variable over here because whatever type will be whatever value will be coming from main function when we call this abc it must be stored somewhere now we'll call this function int we have declared a variable over here int a is equal to 5 now we'll call this function abc and pass a in it a is a type of integer this is same this is same and below we can declare b so that you do not get confused we can also declare a over here so it is b now 5 is being passed from this abc uh, semicolon over here and 5 is catching in this b now we'll print the value of b in this function print f we'll print the value over here b uh, as the compile time errors we'll just remove it because there is we do not have written semicolon over here that is why now it's safe we'll just run it it is printed 5 now you can see that we do not have any value printed over here but we have value printed over here this same value so this all thing can be done by with the help of function one thing can be passed from one function to another function and another function to another function so here what we have done we have taken a function void abc pass the argument int in it and uh, taken a variable 5 abc pass the 5 in it b catches the 5 and prints the value of 5 so this is all about with argument and without return and in the next video the fourth and the last type of the user defined function with with argument and with return thank you